Hi friends, let's call, uh, solve this problem. Here it is asking assume that the diodes in the circuits of figure given or ideal find the values of the labeled voltage and currents. So let's start with the problem A now. So here diode D1 and D2 are connected in some random fashion. So let's say uh, we don't know actually whether uh, these two diodes are in forward bias or in reverse bias. So for, uh, let's go with an assumption that both D1 and D2 are in forward bias. In forward bias. So here one thing you should remember that these diodes D1 and D2 are ideal. D1 comma D2 are ideal diodes. So ideal diodes in forward bias is a short circuit in reverse bias it's a open circuit so now our first assumption is that both diode d1 and d2 are in forward bias so let's draw the simplified circuit diagram now here both the diodes are replaced with the short circuit so clearly the voltage V is zero because D1 is a short circuit and D2 is short circuit and D1 is directly connected to ground. So the V is zero now. So this is current I. This is 12 kilo ohm resistor. This is 6 kilo ohm resistor. This is let's take I12. This is let's take I6. I12 is simply 3 minus zero over 12 kilo ohm resistor. That is nothing but 0.25 milliamperes current and I6 flowing downwards direction through 6 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but 0 minus of minus 3 volt over 6 kilo ohm resistor that is nothing but 0.5 milliampere so clearly if you write KCL equation here I must be minus 0.25 milliamperes it should flow upward direction but which is not correct because the diode D1 is already bias in forward mode for bias so current cannot be flow from cathode to anode so this assumption is wrong this assumption is wrong assumption wrong so d1 must be a reverse bias now or second assumption let's take d1 is in reverse bias and d2 is in forward bias so let's make it plus 3 volt minus 3 volt as is well as a 3 to 6 uh, to, uh, 12 kilo ohm resistor here 6 kilo ohm resistor this is the voltage V and here is clearly open circuit so now I 12 ohm 12 kilo ohm resistor and high 6 kilo ohm resistors are both are equal because both are in series now so that I let's take this is I x flowing in this direction I x is nothing but 3 minus of minus 3 volt over 12 plus 6 kilo ohm so now it is 6 over 18 kilo ohm that is nothing but 1 over 3 milliamperes so now let's calculate for voltage V V is nothing but 1 over 3 milliamperes multiplied with 6 kilo ohm minus 3 volts so it is nothing but 2 minus 3 minus 1 volt so clearly answer for the first part of the question is nothing but i is equal to 0 and v is equal to minus 1 volt and in this case now you just observe v is equal to minus 1 volt where v is here if it is minus 1 volt d1 is clearly reverse bias so our solution is valued our solution is a valid one because D1 is reverse biased because we already assumed that D1 is reverse biased and D2 is forward biased. So this solution is the correct solution. And now let's solve the question B. This is also same D1 and D2 are connected in the same fashion as question A and uh, and uh, the only difference is the resistors are interchanged. So let's assume both the diodes are forward bias
so this is i x i x is nothing but no oops this is i 6 kilo ohm resistance this is i 12 kilo ohm resistor i 12 kilo ohm resistor let's choose one more pen color here so this is our required value i so this is the voltage v is clearly zero because it is directly connected to the ground so let's solve for i 6x i 6 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but 3 minus 0 over 6 kilo ohm which is nothing but 0 0.5 milliamperes and i 12 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but 0 minus of minus 3 volt over 12 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but 0 0.25 milliamperes so i must be i 12 I 6 kilo ohm resistor minus I 12 kilo ohm resistor is nothing but 0.5 minus 0.25 milliamperes. So it is 0.25 milliamperes. Our assumption is valid because the diode D1 is forward biased. So to support this, I is positive. I is 0.25 milliamperes flowing from anode to cathode. So the diode, both the diodes T1 and D2 are in forward bias and our assumption is correct based on the calculated current value. Okay. Now the request uh, required answer is I is 0.25 milliamperes and V is equal to 0 volts. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.